Hello and welcome to the training video where we're going to look at setting up the calendar widget. Within your digital signage solution, we're able to bring in three different types of calendar. We can bring in Google Calendar, Outlook Calendar, as well as a custom calendar using an either an API link or a URL for something like Google Sheets. Once you've logged into your di digital signage solution, you'll be directed to the home page. From the home page, I'm going to click on New Creative. I can either use a pre made template and edit it, or I can start with a blank page. For this video, I want my calendar to be full screen, so I'm going to go with a blank page. On the left hand side are my widgets, and this is how we bring in our content. In the middle is our canvas, and this is what will be eventually published to our digital signage screen. On the right hand side are our settings. The settings will change depending on which widget we're currently using. At the moment, I'm on the default settings, which is the creative. So I can click on the name and I can just call this one training video. I can now move over to the left hand side and I can now choose the calendar widget. So if I click on the calendar widget, it's asking me what type of calendar I want to bring in. So let's have a look at custom calendar to start with. So if I click on custom calendar, it's going to ask me what kind of calendar it is. Is it going to be an API script? If it is, you will simply copy and paste the URL into the bar. If you need to log into it, so use a username and password, simply click on the account login and you can then add in the username and password. If it's a CSV link, it's exactly the same process. So we'll click on the CSV link and you'll just copy the address in. And if it is a Google spreadsheet, like the example here, make sure it is available for public sharing. If I click on change source, it will take me back to my calendar view. But if I just go back into it, and this time I'm gonna click cancel, do not worry, because although it says no source has been selected, if we move over to the right hand side here, we're now in the calendar settings and the very first choice is select source. So it will open it back up for you. For this video, we're going to use a Google Calendar because Google Calendar and Outlook Calendar work exactly the same way. So I'm going to click on Google Calendar. Off screen, what has happened is it's asking me to choose the account. So I'm clicking on the calendar address I want to bring in. If it asks you to um, whether it's verified, just simply click on advanced and then go to. It's now just confirming that I agree to the terms and conditions. And now I'm ready to continue and it will now bring my calendar in. It's now going to ask me what I want to see on the calendar. So I don't want to see the holiday, so I'll untick that, but I do want to see my main calendar. If you've bought in the wrong kind of calendar, again, we can simply click on change source. I'm now going to click save and it's now bringing in that information. So we can see my morning is training on the right hand side here. We can see today's date as well as tomorrow and it's breaking down what I've got on today. If I now move over to the right hand side here, we've got all events as all, but I can simply click onto it and I can type a number in if I wanted to. So maybe I just wanna see my next event. I can tell it how often I want it to update the calendar. So if I set this for 10 minutes and I then edit my Google Calendar, we're probably gonna to have to wait 10 minutes for the digital signage screen to update because we're not gonna be looking at it for that 10 minutes. So I'm gonna leave mine as one. I can change the language. I can change the time format from 24 hours. So we can see it here, 1400, for two o'clock, or I can click on 12 hours and it will then change to two o'clock to 4.30 and add the PM for me. Under styles, I can go to view mode and I can choose to see my weekly calendar and I can see my monthly calendar as well. Underneath, we can actually set a time frame, so it will hide everything outside of these times. So if your office is not open until nine o'clock, or you don't see clients before nine o'clock, we can simply, let's put that daily, we can add in, oh, sorry, weekly, there we go, nine o'clock, and if you close or don't have meetings past five o'clock, we can actually change the time here. We can also put what is your start day of the week. So depending where you are in the world, some people consider Sunday as the first working day, some people as Monday. So we can literally change between the two. We can have a dark mode or light mode. We can change the font we want to use. So again, we've got a selection of fonts for you, 
but if you wish to use a font that has not been added to your digital signage solution, you can simply upload it using a TTF file. Underneath, we can change the font size from normal to large. And the text, so what the description is, we may have small, so we can edit them individually. Next, the default color, so it's gone for blue, and I'm gonna go for a green. I can, of course, type in a color hex code, and I can change the transparency as well. Underneath, if I come down, we can change the sizing and positioning if we wanted to, but I'm actually very, very happy with my calendar. So all I need to do now is simply click Save, and then I can add it to a playlist and publish it to my screen. I hope you've enjoyed this training video on looking at calendars.